Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. I got some great news. I was able to get the uh, MCHF RS918 radio to finally take uh, the new firmware, and I'll explain to you what I had to do here uh, right after the intro. Stick along and tag along with me. Hey guys, Fred here, V3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors, and it is 1900 hours Zulu, and it is uh, August the, what is it today, August the 19th today, is that what it is, just let me look, August 18th, sorry, just not into today's here, they all blend into one another. As you have seen from the other videos earlier, I was getting very frustrated with the MCHF uh, QRP radio that's only two weeks old. I could not get the radio to take the newest uh, firmware. But what I can tell you now is that after working extremely closely with uh, Peter OK2XVI, OK I am now able to flash the radio without any trouble using the USB. However, I have to tell you that the only computer that would work, I had to dig out my old Acer Windows 7 netbook and I had to download the firmware, put it onto a USB stick and it went first try without any fail. My XP netbook wouldn't work and my Windows 8.1 uh, Samsung computer uh, that is my main computer also would not load the bins properly to the USB stick in order for it to transfer from the radio. So I'm just going to power on the screen. Alright, 2.4 and 2.01. Uh, Peter just sent me the latest version that also allows for RTTY decoding and what I'm going to attempt to do now is I'm going to attempt to show you guys um, a software uh, firmware update right now if I can and show you how simple it should be when it does go. So I'm just inserting the stick. I have to hold the band negative button down, fire this up, Okay, the green light comes on, the screen comes on, it's doing its thing, the red light means that it's uh, downloading. Once the red light and the screen go out, I then hit the band negative button again. The radio is going to shut down, the radio will turn back on, and here we are. We have version 2.0. Uh, 5.56 which now allows for decoding of RTTY as you can see the menu looks a lot different or the display looks a lot different uh, man what can I say now it's uh, now it's all coming together but once again I want to thank my friend Peter OK2XVI OK uh, for all of his help uh, last night he was up at four o'clock in the morning uh, their time uh, trying to help me out uh, here at home and you know what lo and behold between correspondence today through um, through uh, social media or just through the phone and through texting and emails uh, we were able to get this thing up and running and now it takes like nothing with uh, the USB so again it took my Windows 7 uh, netbook uh, to be able to put the bins onto the stick and it went without any fail. You guys seen how fast that was. 
So I want to thank Peter once again. I want to thank everybody else who tried to help, uh, everyone else who watched the videos today. So now this video goes up with some positive feedback. And uh, what I can say is I'm extremely happy. I noticed that the noise floor on here, uh, that is my actual noise that you see here. It's, I have a noisy area. Um, but um, I'll tell you, it has the, the audio itself seems a lot better. So now to test it out and try it out in the bands. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, share. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, so this is Fred of EE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. 7-3, guys.